Hello guys, in this video, I am going to explain DSPY in as simple words as possible with a very simple example. If by end of this video, you are still unable to understand what DSPY is, I will return your money, guaranteed. Okay, so let's get right into it. The most annoying part of programming with large language model is prompt engineering. The reason is, Prompt engineering is very uncertain, very brittle. You are writing different prompts upon prompts and then a few more prompts in a hope to get what you need out of LLMs. And when you decide to try different model for your task, everything is broken. You have to rewrite those prompts. You have to try them all again. The promise of DSPY is to solve this issue. It makes your prompt engineering systematic. All you need to do is to provide your sample input and then DSPY is going to optimize it and then you will get the output. That is all there is to it. This will be best explained with a simple example in the code. So let me go to my Google Colab, the free one, no need for GPU. Let's first inst install DSPY. I'm also going to install OpenAI because I will be using the model from OpenAI. You can use any model you like. Let me install it. While this gets installed, I'm also going to get my OpenAI's API key from platform.openai.com. And if you click on this key icon, I already have set it here. If I scroll down, this is where I have set it. And by clicking on this blue tick button, I have granted access to this collab already. So you see DSPY and OpenAI libraries are installed in this collab. Let's scroll down. Let's try to import DSPY. Now looks scary, but it's not. Let's go step by step. First, we are just importing the DSPY, which we have just installed. This Python class, what it is doing, it is just giving it the name Shakespearean translation. And then forget about this for a moment. These are the only things which you need to know. In this one, I am defining my task as what exactly I want the large, <clears throat> the large language model to do. So in this task, I want large language model to convert or translate any simple English sentence to Shakespearean English or whatever your task is. Just define it here in plain English as much as you like. For example, you want to convert JavaScript to Python script. For example, you want to convert your financial uh, currency from one currency to another or whatever you want to do, just define your task in plain English here. My task is that I want to translate a simple English sentence, whatever will be the input into the Shakespearean English. So I am saying that whatever the input field will be, just put it to store it in this variable, simple, simple English. And then whatever output will output will be generated by LLM, just put it here. That's it. And I'm passing it the parameter dspy.signature. All of these three things, when we combine them, they make a signature. So signature includes your task detail or description, your input and whatever the output will be generated by LLM. That's all there is to it. We haven't done anything. We have just defined it by ourselves. So let me run it. It has imported DSPY and it is it has created this Python class. Now let's get our OpenAI key and also define our model. Now in these three lines, what I'm doing, I'm simply importing that OpenAI API key from this secret where we have defined. And then we have initialized our model GPT 3.5 turbo, you can select any model you like. And then I am just sending the API key here. And then let me also do it in the same go. Maybe let me just run it to make it easier for you. That is done. Now, next, here what I am doing, I am telling DSPY that I am using this turbo model for LM is for language model. And the language model we are using using is turbo which is this variable which means openai is turbo 
and here i'm just importing a signature library and you know what signature is signature is the task then input and output and here i am defining a template out of that signature so if you look here what is happening i'm just calling this signature to template function which is a built-in function with dspy and i am passing that Experience translation class to it so what happens is that it converts this whole class into a template and that's a basically your prompt template that is all there is to it and let me quickly show you how it looks like too so let me print that that template which we have generated so there you go so this is a template our task like translate simple english to shakespearean english and then our input which is simple english and the output we expect is shakespearean shakespearean english and you see that we haven't defined this shakespearean space english simple space english in this proper word this is all has been done by dspy so now dspy knows our task it knows our input and it knows our output then let's define a class for chain of thought now this is all dspy chain of thought is a technique used in language ai models to generate more coherent and accurate responses by explicitly representing and iterating over a sequence of intermediate thoughts or reasoning steps making the model's decision making process more transparent and interpretable if you try to do this chain of thought manually then you have to specify multiple prompts you have to go through them again and again and again until you get it right but by defining this class you are making this process simple with the help of dspy so you see what is happening we are just defining this chain of thought or cot class with dspy module so which is declaring the dspy this is a constructor function which is initializing that our chain of thought should be based on this experience translation which we defined above above as a class here so we are basically passing our signature to this chain of thought the chain of thought is aware that it needs to iterate over a task and it knows what sort of input we have and what sort of output we have so it knows that input will be simple english output would be experient english so it has to do all the chain of thought in the back end without us worrying about it and then forward is simply a function which is doing a prediction so we'll be passing it a simple english sentence and then it is going to give us a experience sentence let's run it and then this c is equal to chain of thought we are just initializing an object out of this class so far so good now let's try to pass it a simple english sentence so here i am passing it this c dot forward this function we are calling with this object and the simple english sentence we are passing it you should relax and have fun while it lasts so let me run it there you go so first it has given the rationale due to that chain of thought that to do such experience shakespearean uh, english we want to convey the message of enjoying the present moment without worrying about the future and then this is a shakespearean shakespearean english that those should just take keys and travel well as it does and or whatever so you see uh, it's a zero shot one we haven't given it an example we haven't done anything it is gone and and it has by itself it has a certain that okay for this task it needs this rationale and then it has produced a very fine answer now this is one beauty another beauty of dspy is that if you change your model here for example you just replace it with some grok api model or with anthropics cloud or with some other local llama mistral model then you don't have to change anything here your shakespearean translation remains the same which means your signature remains the same your chain of thought remains the same so you have modularized it you have distributed it and decoupled it from your prompt with your model and your programming so this is how this dspy makes it so easy to do prompt engineering and this is 
so the main idea is to define input and output and task what you expect and dspy will do the optimization and figure out the optimal prompt for you of course there is a lot more to it but now you have understood it what it is you can build upon it go through the repo of dspy which i showed you and i will drop the link in video description read through its document and if you like the sound of it go for it and then share your use case one thing i want to mention here is that if you have a complex pipeline then this really shines through and by complex pipeline i mean multiple llms multiple prompting dynamic data then you will start truly appreciating this dspy because not only it makes prompt engineering prompt optimization easy but it also allows you to use llms as judge or you can evaluate it on different matrices that's it guys uh, i will drop the link of this dspy in this video's description now if you still are not sure what dspy is then um sure i will return your money just let me know how much have you paid me and then um, show me the receipt and then i will return, return it to you but uh, hopefully that it was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching